Hey, Dr. Gilmet coming at you from my garage studio. I wanted to make a quick video about relative frequency, and because I'm such a huge Arrow fan, um, the question that we're going to use is what proportion of bad guys does Arrow defeat during a patrol, right? Um, and so what we're going to do is cover three things, like the easy for you, um, where you're basically just using Excel as a calculator, the easy with Excel, where you actually use some of the built-in functionality of Excel to make your life a little easier, and then I'm going to give you like a secret sauce of using the F4 key, which has kind of changed my life with using Excel, right? So let's say that Arrow right he's traveling through star city and um he defeats between one and seven bad guys um during the patrol at night right and it's it's never zero bad guys because that would be boring and nobody wants to see a show with a superhero defeats one bad guy. um so you know two bad guys is four times three bad guys is six times four bad guys is 12 times five bad guys is six times Six bad guys is three times, and let's say, I mean, Arrow's human, right? So seven bad guys, that only happens once. Um, that's like, uh, that's a crazy episode right there, right? But the question is proportion, and when you're talking about proportions, you're talking about the relative frequency. How often does this happen relative to other events, right? And so the first thing we have to do is we actually have to find the sum of all the frequencies, okay? So... Again, the idea is you want to find the total number of uh, the frequencies. And you can use Excel just like a calculator. Um, all you need to do is hit the equal sign. That tells Excel that you want to calculate something. And we can literally just type in 0 plus 4 plus 6 plus 12 plus 6 plus 3 plus 1. Um, and that'll give you 32. Now, some of you are screaming right now going, that's not the way you do it. I, I understand that there are other ways of doing it but remember this is the easy for you we're just using Excel as a calculator alright next what we do is we're going to divide each frequency by the sum right so I come up here to relative frequency I hit the equal sign because again I wanted Excel to calculate something and what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in the zero and I'm going to divide it by the 32 we got in the sum down here right so the frequency gets divided by the sum. That's basically the formula. And you hit enter. And obviously 0 divided by 32 is 0. And so we're going to do that for each frequency. We are going to do equal sign and do 4 divided by 32. And we get a proportion that's about 12.5%. And I'm going to take 6 and I'm going to divide it by 32. And I get a proportion that's 18 and 3 quarters, so about 19%. I'm going to do equals 12 divided by 32, and I get a proportion that's about 37.5%, equals 6 divided by 32, equals 3 divided by 32, and equals 1 divided by 32. Um, and that will give you the proportion of bad guys defeated, you know, relative to all the bad guys he's defeated, right? So he never just beats up one bad guy. But about 12.5% of the time he beats up two bad guys. You know, 37.5% of the time the most frequent would be four bad guys. And only about 3% of the time does he take down seven uh, bad guys, right? Now, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave this sort of right here uh, because now I'm going to go with the easy with Excel. And to do the easy with Excel, we are going to find the sum of all the frequencies, but... This is probably what some of you are expecting. You were expecting me to go equal, and then we use sum. The sum function says, hey, let's add everything up. In fact, you can probably see the smart test says adds all the numbers in the range of cells. And so if you take sum, you can actually grab each of these frequencies over here and hit enter, and we'll get 32. So we actually are using the sum function to get all of the frequencies. Now that we have the sum function, what we can do is we can actually sum up all of the relative frequencies and what you should get for all the relative frequencies is one the proportion of bad guys defeated by arrow should add up to one right 100 percent right uh the proportion one uh would translate to 100 percent and so there you go so this always has to add up to one 
All right, so now that we have that, now we're going to divide the first frequency using a cell reference by the sum. So I'm going to delete these, and I'm going to come up here. And what I mean by divide the first frequency using a cell reference is instead of typing in 0 in here, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to click on the 0. That's a cell reference. That means whatever is in the cell to the left, what I want you to do is divide it by 32. That's basically what that means. Okay, And when I hit enter, I get the 0 again. But now that I have this formula in here, now that I have this take the number to the left and divide it by 32, I can actually drag that formula down. I can actually hover. When I hover in this bottom right hand corner, I get this little black crosshair. I click and drag it down. Oh, I'll probably have to. Oops. Sorry. <clears throat> I was trying to do too much. I'm in here. I got the crosshair. Click, drag it down. I let go. I get the exact same values. It still adds up to 1. But then I didn't have to divide each frequency by the sum. I just dragged the formula down, and that makes us super happy, right? <clears throat> now, um, what the secret sauce is, the advanced using the F4 key, um, I'm going to delete these all again. Okay, and now when I come up here and I do the equal sign and I do the frequency to the left and I divide it, what I'd really like to do is I'd like to divide it by this guy down here, right, the 32. So then I don't have to type in any numbers and hit enter, right, and then I drag this down, right, and then, oh, divide by zero. What happened? Well, what happened was is this formula is telling it, hey, go to the left. Uh, go to the left and then go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 down and find the number, right? And so what happens is for this one, 8 down and find the number, there's no number here. So you're dividing by 0 and it's confused, okay? So it doesn't like it. It doesn't like it when you do that. So here's the quick fix. Here's the awesome fix. Divide by this suffering, divided by this one, but you never want the 32 to move. If you never want the 32 to move, you hit F4, you get the little uh, um, dollar signs in there, and now when you hit enter, and you hover over and drag down, now that 32 stays put, and everything turns out nice. And the reason you might want to do this is if maybe it's not 11, 12 bad guys, maybe it's 11 bad guys, everything changes, and the relative frequency stays 1. I haven't... Maybe it's not six bad guys, it's seven bad guys, right? Seven, um, seven times that I defeat five bad guys. Seven times that I defeat five bad guys. And maybe it's not never that I defeat one bad guy. Maybe it's every once in a while I do it. And so all the frequencies change and everything stays cool. And so you can actually change all of the frequencies and it will constantly update your relative frequency with your total um, and be correct. And that makes us happy.